Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is Rooted in Music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Justin Timberlake, go, 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 drinking his ass. Oh, got behind the wheel and the police caught him. Oh yeah, they caught him out there. I got a video on the plate for y'all and I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. Justin Timberlake has been released from custody following his arraignment on a DUI related charge out of New York's Long Island. Let's get right out to CBS News New York's Jenna DeAngelis. She's outside the courthouse in Sag Harbor. Jenna, I understand you have your hands on some court docs. That's right, Lindsay. So Justin Timberlake faced a judge here this morning just after 9 o'clock. And a short time ago, those court documents were released to us. So what they say is that a police officer observed Justin Timberlake driving a BMW in the village here after midnight and saw him run through a stop sign and swerve at least twice. So he was pulled over. And when the cops pulled him over, I want to give you the exact quote from the documents here. His eyes were, quote, bloodshot and glassy. And they also said, quote, a strong odor of alcoholic beverage was emanating from his breath. He was unable to divide attention. He had slowed speech. He was unsteady afoot. And he performed poorly on all standardized field sobriety tests. Now, on this complaint, here in the uh, oral admission form, Justin Timberlake allegedly said, quote, I had one martini and followed my friends home. So he faced the judge here this morning and he was released. It is important to note Timberlake is on tour right now. He has two shows set this weekend in Chicago and then will return here in New York City for two shows at MSG. So that's the latest what we know right now. We did talk to some people out here who were surprised that Timberlake uh, allegedly got behind the wheel drunk and didn't seek a, a driver or somebody to pick him up but again we're going to continue to gather out here but that's the latest from sag harbor long island a few hours we are learning new details surrounding the arrest of justin timberlake who is charged with a dui in long island now in this surveillance video you can see what appears to be the bmw timberlake was driving that night headed right in the direction to where he was eventually pulled over on tuesday the video was taken by hampton's dot cam which is the only source of continuous live video throughout the hamptons we're out to the sag harbor police for confirmation but we haven't heard back yet a timberlake was pulled over early tuesday morning morning and police there say he ran a stop sign then swerved out of his lane several times NBC News correspondent Aaron McLaughlin is there with the latest including what Timberlake's lawyer is saying hey there Aaron Hey there. For the first time since his arrest, we are hearing from Justin Timberlake's attorney uh, releasing a statement just moments ago saying, quote, I look forward to vigorously defending Mr. Timberlake on these allegations. I will have a lot to say at the appropriate time, but I'm currently awaiting full discovery from the district attorney's office. Now, we know from court documents that the singer spent the night at the police station behind me on Tuesday morning before appearing in court on a DW. I charge. He was pulled over by an officer in the middle of the night for blowing a stop sign and swerving a couple times. We also know from those court documents that he failed every single field sobriety test, although when he got to the police station, he refused chemical tests, which would have determined his exact blood alcohol levels. We know he pleaded not guilty, and now, according to his attorney, he's planning to fight this charge. In the meantime, there is this question mark around his world tour current Currently going from concert to concert. His next concert is expected in Chicago on Friday. His next court hearing, though, is July 26, which is when Damn. he's expected to be in Poland on tour. Although we understand the net court hearing. Everybody messing up. Everybody dropping the bag. Now Justin Timberlake ain't so squeaky clean. Uh, will be virtual. Back to you. Would y'all like my opinion? 
Would y'all like some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Justin Timberlake, I don't know if he's stressed out. I don't know if he's nervous about his tour. He's on tour now. Justin Timberlake is a big name. And now, because for the longest, they've always been saying that Justin Timberlake has had a squeaky clean career. He always looked upon as the, the good guy finished last after uh, Britney Spears cheated on him. And uh, this is a good dude, great entertainer, great talent. But he always, in some people's eyes, overshadowed Chris Brown because he never had no smoke. He never had no incidences. He never had no accidents. He never got jammed up by the police. Never been behind bars until now. Now what you gonna say? Chris Brown and Justin Timberlake, they've been neck and neck now. Well, like I said, some people said Justin Timberlake's career was better. Not so much now. He's a, he's a drunk, right? And he's saying that he only had one drink. Here's the thing. It only takes one drink. Now, I've never known Justin Timberlake to be a booze bag. I've never known Justin Timberlake to get behind, uh, to get up under that bottle and act a fool, slap on this old lady, slap on his girlfriend, slap on the kids. I've never known him to be a heavy drinker. Maybe he has done a great job of um, hiding his habits from the public and his fans. Hmm. I think he's done a great job. If if <clears throat> if he is an alcoholic. Chris, Justin Timberlake is in his early 40s. He's been hiding it for almost 30 years. That's very impressive, actually. That's very impressive. But impressive or not, we're going to see what the outcome is going to be because they're saying that he refused to take the, the blood test when he got locked up because that would have showed how much he actually had in his system, how much alcohol he actually had in his system. So... He didn't want to take the uh, blood test. He has failed every other test. And he said all this off of one drink. I don't know about this one. I think that uh, I can't say because he's an alcoholic. Because alcoholics don't know their limit. And even if you're an occasional drinker, you should know your limit. Because I'm trying to figure out overall whether you're an alcoholic or just a, a person that drinks occasionally. How do you not know your limit? Justin Timberlake, didn't you feel yourself getting woozy? Then the the walls started spinning. And somebody else brought a good point. How come you don't how come you take the blood test to see how much alcohol you had since you claim only had one drink? How come you don't know your limit? And why didn't you just take a damn Uber? You're on tour, you're getting money. You gotta provide for your family. Are, are you stressed out? What's really going on with Justin Timberlake? Y'all let me know. Flood my comments. 250 capital G. Rooted in Music TV, I'm gone.